I was at my local supermarket of all places and this isn't like a, it's not like a Japanese market or like an Asian market that might actually have some types of Wagyu or Kobe beef. This was just by chance, one of the cuts that they were selling had the craziest marbling that I have ever seen, almost in general, let alone a supermarket, especially in person. And I used to work for a steakhouse that sold A6 Wagyu all the time. So these are the steaks that I got at my local supermarket for $7.99 a pound. Look how crazy that marbling is. And I was like, eh, it'll be, it'll be, you know, a little better. It'll be a little better than what I usually eat, you know? But these are amazingly good. As a comparison, I went out and got some actual Australian Wagyu that sold as Wagyu. And if you're looking, yeah, I mean, the marbling is, I mean, a bit more impressive in the store-bought stuff, but it's not really, this isn't really too far off in regards to marbling. So it's definitely close in that aspect. And these are both New York strip cuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grill these up. I'm going to go outside. I would, I would show you guys cooking them, but it's raining outside, so I, I can't bring the camera outside. So I'm going to grill these up, and then we're going to do a comparison on the store-bought stuff versus the actual Wagyu. And just kind of go over what the difference is, mainly between Wagyu and regular meat, because between these two specifically, it would just be a matter of breed, marbling, etc. All right, so here are the two larger New York strips that are the actual Wagyu. And here are the, this is the supermarket Wagyu. A little bit of like oxidation and gray on the outside of these because they were in the fridge for so long. All right, so first I'm gonna try some of the, the supermarket steaks. And I did overcook one of them a little bit. This is cooked to like a medium well. There's like a tiny bit of funk on there because I let it age in my fridge. Really good. Really tender, especially for New York Strip. Super flavorful. Really nice crust on the outside I got from that wood fire. This is much more tender, much richer, more flavorful than pretty much any steak you're going to have. So now I'm going to try the other Wagyu. This is the, the actual Wagyu that I bought as Wagyu that had a little less marbling and I also cooked it uh, a little less of a temperature and it doesn't really have any age on it. It's not as tender because it didn't have as much marbling. And the flavor isn't as good. I think it's because it's just one of those things where sometimes you get some cattle that were eating certain grasses and, and certain breeds. They don't taste as good as other ones. I'm getting like a slightly off taste to this meat. so. I don't necessarily think this is a good and fair comparison. Putting some age on that steak, I think it was in the fridge for like two weeks, and then just the extra marbling, it's not even close. This is so much more tender, more flavorful, uh, but in regards to like comparing it to your regular average steak, this grass-fed Wagyu that I bought for $18 a pound, it's not really much better than a prime steak, and I can get like Angus Prime for maybe nine or ten dollars a pound. So this isn't really worth it. But when you dry age it and it has ample marbling, like a super high amount of marbling, it becomes much more tender and much more flavorful. So it's like if you're in between and you're spending a lot of money for steak on like A5 Wagyu and it's not that good. You might as well go the extra mile, dry age it, get a little more marbling for some extra money, and then you're really getting some bang for your buck. Because, I mean, I'd love to eat that all day, but this is not, not really that enjoyable. So, if we're talking about nutrient profile, uh, these steaks are grass-fed 100% and grass-finished as well. Uh, the marbling depends specifically on the breed. Nutrient content, this has higher amounts of all the vitamins, all the omega-3s, ALA, anywhere from like three to 10 times the amount depending on the quality of pasture. So we are definitely getting a more nutrient-dense diet through this, but in the context of, you know, organ meats, fish, other sources of nutrition, muscle meat, even very fatty muscle meat, doesn't really give you a lot of nutrition in comparison to those foods. You guys are wondering why I cook so much steak? I'm gonna, this is 
partly for my family and partly for leftovers the next day. I got the Wagyu from a meat distributor and by chance I came across that steak in my local supermarket. I was like, oh my god. And I bought like, I bought a lot of it. There were like 10 packages like that. I bought like $70 worth of that beef and that's some of the best meat I've had based on the marbling, it being grass fed, that I dry aged it. Very, very unique circumstances that I don't think I'll ever come across again, especially for that price. But uh, thank you guys for watching.